So, addition polymerization alkenes must have a double bond. Condensation polymerization generally occurs when I have esters, making polyesters or polyamides. And we're going to look at both of those examples. Condensation polymerization involves the elimination of a small molecule. So it means that two, well, it means that lots of molecules come together and they join together by eliminating one. So for example, when we make an ester, we join an alcohol and a carboxylic acid together and we remove water. That's our byproduct. So the first ones we're going to look at are polyesters. So we're just like condensation polymerization involves uh, the elimination of a small molecule. So these guys do not have a hundred percent atom in common. Usually water. So the empirical formula of a polymer is different to the model. It's worth just knowing that um, definition because they often ask for that. Right, the good thing about this topic is we get to use colours again. I recommend you have oh, at least two colours going. We are going to make a polyester. So, polyesters. You can help yourself to it. Oh, yeah. 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 Terrily, it's a polyester, so it's going to have many, many ester groups in. So, what do you reckon I need to start? If I'm going to make an ester, I need a carboxylic acid and an alcohol. So, but it's no good just having an alcohol one end and a carboxylic acid the other end because they would just join up and I won't make a polymer. So I need a di alcohol and a di carboxylic acid. So this is how I make my polymer. So, step away. I don't like it when um. I don't like it how they've got funny names. <laughs> because. So that is benzene one four di carboxylic acid, and I'm going to join it together with a di alcohol, which I will draw out like so. No. So I recommend you draw it the same way as me. Let's carry on. I'm going to put another, and I'm probably going to run out of space for my benzene ring. It's going to get very small. Oh, no. And another alcohol, like so. So you need. So I have got. Two of my benzene diacids and two of my dialcohols. Is everybody happy? That's a diacid, two yeah. carboxylic acid, dialcohol, two alcohol groups. And we are going to join all of these up together to try and bring my, to try and make my pollen up. Oh, I'm starting again. <laughs> So, oh, I start dicarboxylic acid, I start here, but as with any ester, I draw that part and then I stop and I draw my alcohol like so. And there I have eliminated plus H2O to make that ester bond. I then carry on and do the same here. So that's going to carry on, and I now make 
that one there. And again, I've made a new ester bond. So that is plus H2O. And then for this one, I've eliminated water again. So it goes like so. Plus H2O. The key thing you have to be careful of is where this ends, this begins. So I'm going to complete this like so. Can you see that this O here is that O there? So it would go to a C double bond O, which is where I start here. Can you do it in circles? No, because that makes a cyclic compound. This is a polymer, it's going to be a very, very long chain. If it was a cyclic compound, that wouldn't be a polymer, it would be too little. So it's going to be a very long chain. So if this has to go, you must end with a bond here and a bond here to show that it continues. And where this ends, the next thing I would draw if I was continuing would be a C double bond O which is where that starts there. Okay, so also for the next one, that bit would go, and then that bit would go. So I'm also gonna make another H2O, but half from that and half, because this is gonna carry on to a different C double bond O, carry on, and this is gonna join up to another alcohol as it carries on. But if I'm just drawing a section, Every ester bond I make produces a water molecule. So that's half the bond. Can you see if I was to carry on this next thing, I would draw an O. Yeah, no, I get that. Yeah, but which would be that bit there. If in the top one you have, do, do you have three black circles and the other ones are just on half and so they're going to somewhere else? Yeah, that's Why right. Why wouldn't they join together? It's very unlikely. I mean, if you think about it's a possibility that you think this molecule is being drawn, what's the likelihood that these ends just suddenly wrap around together to join up? So when you draw the puzzles, they are actually like in line. Yeah, well these, they're all lined up and they just carry on. Sorry. They just carry on meeting yeah. and joining up, yeah. So this guy here meets a different carboxylic acid and it carries on. And then another alcohol and then another carboxylic acid. So when you make polyester, you don't just have two. No, no, I have thousands and thousands of these. I hope you have four and the other two. No, no, sorry. I've got thousands of these and they all just join up to carry on. It would be very difficult to make that end join with that end. Okay. Because of, you know, it's unlikely if I've got a molecule growing, it's unlikely it suddenly wraps itself around. Yeah. And <laughs> It'll just keep going. Right, so just, just to go over this bit. It's really annoying. I have drawn two repeat units. Hope, well, normally what they do is they say, okay, draw two repeat units, so I only draw one repeat unit, but mark where one repeat unit is. It doesn't matter where you start, but if I draw around one repeat unit, that there would be one repeat unit. Circle it. Yeah, you can circle it. Oh, or you can just put two little lines, bang, bang, like so. But they often say, can you now draw one repeat unit? So they say, draw like, like Steph was saying, draw like a, uh, a, a polymer consisting of four monomer units that are joined together, or four repeat units. I've drawn two repeat units here to illustrate it, how it grows like so. Um, but every time you have to make a water molecule. Can I draw my waters in black? Yeah, do what you like. 